On April 25, 2014, Congressman Fred Upton from Michigan's 6th Congressional District met with close to a dozen blueberry growers, along with some grape and crop producers, to discuss EPA's proposed rule on the waters of the United States and the devastating effect it will have on agriculture. Laura Campbell, manager of Michigan Farm Bureau's Agriculture Ecology Department, was on hand for the meeting as well. She breaks down the proposed rule. The EPA has proposed new rules that expand the definition of what's a water of the United States. That means instead of navigable waters and streams that we recognize as resources to protect, they want to regulate nearly every drop of water in Michigan. Everything that flows into a small ag ditch, everything that flows into small isolated wetlands, low spots in farm fields. This is gonna be a huge challenge for our farmers here in Michigan and across the country. We absolutely need the ability to, to do normal farming practices. We need to be able to apply nutrients and be able to control pest damage. And those are the kinds of activities that we would not be able to do potentially without having to get permits under these new rules. EPA has said that, that, that farming exemptions apply and therefore we don't need to worry about anything, but those practices are not covered by these farming exemptions and could apply anywhere where EPA will now say there is a water of the United States. This happened during the congressional break where most of us are home and uh, these rules and regs that EPA is thinking about putting out and getting comment on, they're just, they're just wrong. I mean, this is, this, this is not a navigable waterway, all right? There are not kayak and canoes and fishing signs here uh, along the road. Uh, this is a pretty darn good business. And as we know, not only blueberries, but a whole number of crops, in fact, need the moisture. This is not, you know, this, this is not something where EPA needs to come in and regulate. People have to get permits and costs and who knows how much land they're gonna take out of production. And of course, if they're successful in doing that, where are we gonna get the crops? It's gonna, they're gonna come from overseas. We can't lose a season because of bureaucrats. And so there is an effort now undergoing, just started in the last couple of days. I'm, I'm hoping and convinced that it'll be bipartisan. It has been in the past. And we need to tell EPA to just go take a hike. That's what it comes down to. Uh, we, we don't need these regs. Uh, we're gonna have a concerted effort to deny funds to the EPA to go forward with the approval of these regulations. It's important that growers across the state, across the country, weigh in, let them know what the cost of these burdensome regs are gonna do to them. It's important that they talk to my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, Republican and Democrat, uh, to get some attention. Uh, you know, this was not the intent of Congress, uh, what these new rules are proposing. It's not. Uh, we got enough things to worry about rather than expanding the, the overreach and literally throwing a lot of hardworking, good, good growers and farmers out of business. According to USDA's 2012 census, Michigan's 21,000 acres of blueberries accounted for 21% of the nation's total. Larry Bodke, along with his brother Tom and their families, grow the fruit on 900 acres in Van Buren County, the top blueberry growing county in the United States. What started in 1969 with his father Ron and mother Phyllis growing on 12 acres in Grand Junction is now a family business being threatened by EPA to not exist at all. Blueberries are a wetlands plant. They grow on hydric soils and the EPA defines basically hydric soils as wetlands and um, I don't think they would give us the permits to plant uh, where blueberries grow. Um, you know, we could maybe propose some other sites where we could force them to grow. Uh, it wouldn't be their natural habitat. Um, we could probably make them grow in those sites, but uh, not to the productive capacity that they need to be to be competitive. And um, so it would, I, I think it would really shut the Michigan blueberry industry right down. Farmers in Michigan and, and farmers in other states and across the country are being asked to contact your U.S. House of Representatives, US, U.S. Senator, your congressional representatives to tell them that this rule needs to be rescinded. This rule is in every way an overreach by EPA and needs to be pulled back, not amended or tweaked. And so that's what we're asking farmers to do. EPA's proposed rule is in direct conflict with Michigan Farm Bureau Policy Number 83 titled Waters of the United States. In part, the policy reads, 
We encourage reaffirmation and support of the 2006 U.S. Supreme Court Justice Scalia's definition of waters of the United States as limiting the scope of the EPA oversight. This would reaffirm the limits of power held by the EPA in these matters to navigable waters of the United States. As well, it reads, under no circumstance should any ag drainage ditch be considered a water of the United States. The 90-day comment period on the rule ends in July with a push to extend it to 180 days. Michigan Farm Bureau members can submit comments by logging in to MFB's website at mishfb.com and use the online Legislative Action Center. Non-Farm Bureau members can submit comments on EPA's website as the rule affects more than just the farming community.